What's going on YouTube? Gios right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you a pretty interesting tweak in my opinion that I found browsing Cilio so you might find it useful and you might find it interesting. It essentially allows you to replace Siri which has become pretty dumb with ChatGPT or Gemini. So we're going to get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare Reboot, a software that allows you to fix your iOS system if it's no longer booting. It's stuck on the Apple logo, black screen, blue screen, of course recovery mode, DFE mode, stuff like that. Definitely check the program out in the link below. They do support iOS 7 and they also have a free trial available for both Windows and Mac OS. So I'm jailbroken on this device, I have both Dopamine and Pelrain, and as you can see, I do have a lot of applications, but I was browsing Cilio and I found this, and I thought, well, this looks very interesting. Now, I didn't buy it because it's five bucks, and you gotta really want this kind of tweak to spend five bucks on it. It's quite expensive, in my opinion. However, for what it does, it seems to be worth the price, if you need such a thing. What this does is to replace Siri with ChatGPT or Gemini. So essentially, this is how it would look like when you open Siri and yes it is compatible with Hey Siri as well it will actually do chat GPT stuff so if you say show me a chocolate chip cookies recipe you will actually get a response back from chat GPT or Gemini and stuff like that instead of Siri which I don't know is it me or is it for everybody Siri has become more and more dumb as iOS progressed like starting with iOS 15 it couldn't do proper conversions from one currency to another it would keep showing me results from the web instead of actually trying to respond to my questions Question, things that it could actually do before like in iOS 14 and 13 and stuff like that I don't know to the point that I don't even use Siri anymore in fact I do have the chat GPT application from App Store on my phone and that's primarily what I use nowadays anyways this essentially allows you to set your own API key as well here in settings so you can go ahead get your um, chat GPT or open AI API key over here if you want to improve your response time and stuff like that get additional features and uh, there are a couple of functions you can set up in here as well well, and yeah, chat GPD on your phone. You can also turn on these features over here, which allow you to open maps directly from this chat GPT version of Siri, do phone calls, access contacts, add calendar entries, show the system info. I think there was a picture about that here. Yes, battery level and the iOS version and stuff like that, model number. Now, I don't know, as I said, I didn't buy this tweak because it's not exactly very useful to me personally. I use the chat GPT application, but for those of you who do want to use Siri, and yeah, I see the appeal of, you know, just pressing a button and initiating the assistant you can now do this and yeah as you can see here the features are in here it says apart from chatting with the AI Siri plus allows the AI to directly interact with your device so opening applications drafting emails listing the system info and yeah you gotta know that the privacy and security are involved over here all your interactions are sent through APIs to open AI or Google AI so that their uh, AI can process your request so you should avoid asking sensitive information you can find this tweak here on havoc it's available on the havoc repo it is part of featured in my case it may not be for you but you can find this one Siri plus on Havoc repo so yeah, if you want to replace Siri with chat GPT or Gemini be my guest there is a tweak now for that thank you for watching I am Gia Snow subscribe to stay updated and peace out